Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel, Working Motherhood. Um, my name is Caitlin, and today, you guys, I'm going to do my version of the Marie Kondo uh, method of organizing my hallway closet. Um, now, I'm not going to do 100% Marie Kondo, but I am going to take some of her um, tips and try to organize this situation. Um, this is my closet right now. It is an exposed closet. Um, because this house is all original. It's a smaller home and we live close to downtown. Um, this is a rental, so unfortunately I can't do anything to change it, but um, I can try to organize it and get it together. I did have some type of organization system going um, and it was working, but sometimes it just gets like this. So I'm not purchasing anything new for this project. I wanna just repurpose um, some of the things that I already have and then try to put in some of that Marie Kondo method. Um, a couple of the things that I'm gonna use out of her method today is one, taking everything in a certain category, putting it all in one pile and deciding, um, do I love it? Does it bring me joy? and am I gonna use it, number one. So um, I'm gonna start off by doing that. Um, and then another one of her methods again is um, anything that you um, have, if it doesn't spark joy, then you really shouldn't, why, why are you keeping it? If it doesn't bring you joy and happiness, when you touch it and it doesn't spark joy, or when you see it, it doesn't spark any joy in your spirit or makes you happy, why are you keeping the junk? Um, and then another method is keeping everything close um, the stuff that you use the most. So say for instance, we use our towels. I'm going to make sure all our towels are at arm's reach. I'm going to add my toilet paper in here so it'll be a little bit higher. You know, just things that you use more often um, is where you would put um, closer to you and have closer access. So those are three of those methods that I'm going to use of hers today. And um, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. <laughs> entirety um, and I put I'm starting to put everything in its categories and I know it looks like a nightmare mess but over here I have my sheets in a pile I have extra blankets now I do have some extra blankets that I keep in little bed bags underneath um, the beds but those are some extra blankets there none of those spark joy so I'm getting rid of those and then here is half of my towels and half of them are no good and then my ones that I use all the time, they're actually in the um, dryer right now. And then I have another pile for like all my pictures and little decorations and stuff. And then I have like just a, the collection junk all pile. Um, so basically we want to make sure that we are um, putting things in here that is going to look nice because, well, my closet is exposed. And then number two, you want to make sure you're putting things in here that you want to use that's going to um, spark that joy in your life and um, keep you, uh, and everything has to have a place. That's another one of her rules. Everything needs to have a place. And if it doesn't have a home, then it doesn't need to be in your home, basically. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start. I'm going to wipe down these cabinets and then I'm going to start putting back in the things that sparks the joy in my life.
that is basically it. Um, Siding up here, I just kind of keep my um, paperwork, important documents and stuff like that. So again, with her method, um, things that you don't need or don't use that often, you keep that further out of reach. Then I have my toilet paper and I made this um, little display out of some flowers that I already had just around the house. Um, then we keep our towels. And then I try, now you guys, I try to do her folding method. I'm not so good at it yet. But um, I tried to fold with everything standing up going this way. These are our hand towels or our face towels. Um, so that way everyone could just kind of grab one out the um, basket. I got these baskets from Walmart for about $11, I believe it was. I mean, that was about a year ago. Um, but they work out really well. Um, and then I have my hand towels here. Um, then we have extra sets of sheets. And I tried to do the same folding method. Don't judge me on my phone, you guys. Um, so that way everyone has a spare set of sheets for each of the beds. Um, and then I just keep my iron here. And then down here, I just have extra um, shower curtains and my extra bath mats for my bathroom um, and any extra little blankets that we might use. And then this is it. Um, and I think it turned out really well. I think it's nice and organized. And now it sparks all the joy in my heart. Um, I hope I was able to give you guys some great motivation today um, to organize your linen closet um, using parts, bits and parts of her method. Um, if you have any suggestions, please uh, let me know in the comment box below. Um, and thank you guys so much for joining me today. And until next time, you guys.